Tonight, we will go to Liguria. In these tough and depressing pandemic times, when we are only allowed to leave our houses if we are out of toilet paper, the best alternative to travel without abandoning your fortress is wine. So sit back, relax and join me on 20 Italian wine regions with Core Breaker. Let's go! Welcome to the Italian Riviera, the region representing the glorious, rich and historical kingdom of Genoa. When I say rich, I mean Riviera rich. Everything is beautiful, but you'll have to pay for it. The only poor thing in this region is its limestone based vineyard. What sounds promising and solid, because probably the best bites and bubbly comes from limestone based Chablis and Champagne regions. Well, the reason why Liguria remains the region with the second and lowest output of wine in Italy is because of the very steep rocky hills with sheer drops that almost fall straight into the sea. Most of the vineyards are cultivated by hand and some of them can only be reached by boat. Positive thing about this heroic viticulture is that vineyards are protected from the cold winds by Apennine Alpine mountains, grapes absorb salty mist from the sea and become even more mineralic. And the warm and quite dry Mediterranean climate helps the vines ripen and produce wines with higher sugar content. And it is not a big surprise that 70% of the wine is made from white grapes. What is also not a big surprise is that more than 70% of the production is expanded as DOC higher quality wines. And most of them are made with care and love by around 600 artisanal small wineries. It explains why you will not see Ligurian wines out of Italy and even out of Liguria. Most planted wines are Vermentino and its local biotype Pigato. Vermentino has a more intense color but has less intense fruit aromas and Pigato expresses the region better with sea salt and pine wood aromas. Most notable red grape is called Rossese. It mainly grows in the west best known for Rosese di Dolce Acqua DOC, and produces wine with aromas of roses, blackberries and spices. And lastly is Scacciatera, a dessert wine produced from Bosco, Vermentino and Albarola grapes in Cinque Terre DOC. And it has intense aromas of apricot and fine honey. After this intro, let's check what else this region has to offer. At last. First stop is Portofino. Portofino, Portofino, di Portofino. An idyllic village right on the sea, surrounded by magnificent nature and colorful houses that adorn the delightful natural harbor. I don't care about all those millionaires coming to this port with their yachts. I will go to the Piazzetta, sit in a small cafe, enjoy the views with a tiny espresso and delicious cannolo or anything local sweet because I can. And I won. Bravo, 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 bravo. Mwah. Next up, we will stay in the area, put on a bikini and scuba, and we'll go to the marine reserve of Portofino. It is very rich in marine fauna, which is nice, but uh, you will also be able to find the famous statue of Cristo degli Abissi, which looks awesome. <laughs> Apart from it, there are coral gardens, sunfish, and dolphins. Lastly, is the green gold called Pesto. I have to say that I have never had a delicious pesto and I refuse to have it until I go to Liguria. Same goes with uh, guacamole in Mexico. Guacamole. What I love to eat in my home country is focaccia. It is so easy to make that even I can make it and most importantly it is freaking delicious. But worth mentioning that it is not the best thing to eat while it's still bikini season. So the wine of the region is Cinque Terre 2019 by Terenzuola Winery. Winery was established on the border between Liguria and Tuscany in 1930s and as of today it's 22 hectares under wines, develops on different areas and different altitudes ranging from 50 meters to 450 meters. Estate is led by Ivan Giuliani who applied the intense planting system as it was done before farm tractors were introduced. Now there are 8,500 wine uh, strains per hectare. Close proximity 
pushes plants to compete with one another to search sustenance into the depths of the soil, becoming stronger and less in need of attention. Vineyards are spread across various terroirs. Red grapes are mainly based in the valley, where predominant soils are silt and clay. And white grapes are growing on the hill grounds, where sandy, grit soils prevail. Talking about uh, this wine, it comes from the terraced 1.5 hectare vineyards overlooking the sea. Bosco, Vermentino and Albarola grapes are harvested by hand, quickly macerated on skins and later maturated with its own yeast for six months. Uh, let's taste it. It has a light straw color on the nose, medium intensity aromas of peach, lemon, lemon peel, butter, pine wood and white flowers. Mouth has high acidity, bone dry and it has medium alcohol. On the palate, bitter lemonade. Lemon soda. L'originale limonata italiana. I'm so grateful to be able to taste uh, this super rare and unique wine that I will go and do 20 push-ups right after you will tell me if you ever tasted Ligurian wines and push the like and follow buttons. Salute! Time for push-ups.